Hi everyone, it's Vela from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 Editor tutorial for you. This one's a real quick one and it's been asked a couple of times by a couple of people. It's probably one of the most basic things you can do with the Armour 3 modules that the editor comes with. And that is uh, respawning a vehicle after it's destroyed. Uh, first asked the question by NSP812 and uh, here's the answer to that. So I've placed a uh, APC over there. I'm going to put a... Uh, Rocket into it, destroy it. And you'll see that very shortly it will disappear and it will be replaced with a brand new, well, not shiny, but APC. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know how to do that, I'm going to show you now. So all you have to do is place whatever vehicle you're using. So this can be um, a land vehicle, an air vehicle, or a sea vehicle. Um, just place it down anywhere that you want it to be and respawn. Now I've gone to Systems, Multiplayer, and to Vehicle Respawn. And I've just left click on that and placed it on the map in the editor. So I've set a delay here. These are the parameters for the respawn of the vehicle. A delay of 10 seconds. I leave these things alone because I don't really, no one needs to use those unless you've got specific things you want to do, but they're not really needed. Uh, the position that you want it to respawn, uh, starting position where it was destroyed, you can place a marker. So for example, if you wanted to place a marker um, and use that instead, but um, we're just going to use starting position. Position selection random, uh, just leave that alone. Delete with explosion effect or just delete or you can preserve the wreck or disable that completely. Notification enabled, um, force respawn disabled, force uh, respawn when disabled, disabled. So for example, that means if the vehicle is disabled and it can't be used anymore, like the engine's broken and it's just not going anywhere, and you select enabled, it will respawn that vehicle okay, in this position. So you might have taken it out into the field somewhere and you've gone over a uh, a uh, land and AT land mine on this road here. You've thrown a track. It's damaged the, damaged the engine. You can't repair it. You abandon the vehicle. Um, it will respawn back here. There's also another um, option in the module. Uh, force when disabled, where is it? Uh, deserted distance, here it is. So if you're using this vehicle out in the field and you decide to leave it there, and I'll just put a um, 200 in there. If you walk 200 meters away from this vehicle, it will despawn when you left it and it will respawn back here. So you can always hover over these for descriptions. So deserted distance, when the vehicle is abandoned, force respawn after no player is in the given distance in meters, ignored when the field is left blank. So anyone decides to take a vehicle out and walk more than 200 meters away from it, it will just despawn where you left it and respawn here. Um, that is one of the most basic things that you can do uh, with the editor. Um, if you've got any questions, hit us up. Um, I'm, I'm not casting any dispersions, but I can't believe someone um, over 10 years after the game was released uh, wasn't aware of some of the basic features that you can use uh, with regards to respawns. Um, this doesn't matter where you place it. And of course, you need to right click, connect, sync to, and then click on the vehicle. So if I wanted to use more than one vehicle, yep, I copied the module instead of the vehicle. So if I wanted to use a bunch of these and wanted all the same conditions to be to apply, um, then I could highlight all of these, right click, connect, sync to there, and you'll see that all of them have now got a blue line that goes to the module. And as I said, doesn't matter where you put this, and the same thing will happen with all of these vehicles. They will all respawn in exactly the same position they are They are in after a delay of 10 seconds. Now, if you want to think, make things more challenging, 
you can uh, and get your guys to appreciate the vehicles a little more, you can extend that time. Let's make it 180 seconds. So they've got to wait. So it's really up to you. Uh, if you've got any questions, hit me on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all you guys. And there's plenty more videos coming um, very soon because I haven't done any for ages and I need to get back on top of it. Thanks for watching. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves and be kind to others. Have a good day.